Hey there, worker bees. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this cute little bassinet. Before we get started, I would like for you to enjoy some pictures from the baby shower. In order to make this creation, you will need some tools. You will need a cutting board, a knife, a coffee cup, a melon baller, or measuring cups if you don't have one. The list of ingredients that you'll need is a watermelon, orange, grapes, blueberries, and a cantaloupe. So first you're going to want to measure out how far to cut the watermelon. Here I'm using a candle, but you can also use a coffee cup. This is just to ensure that it's even all the way around. Another tool you'll need is a melon baller. If you don't have a melon baller, you can do what I was doing and use a measuring cup. Ball up as many watermelons as you can and set them aside in a bowl. After you finish doing that, you're going to want to take the same measuring cup or spoon and scrape out the insides of your watermelon, just like you would when carving a pumpkin. I wanted to add some fun ridges to the side of the watermelon, and it's super easy. You just use your knife to go one way, and then the next, and continue that pattern all the way around the watermelon. Next, we'll take our cantaloupe and scrape out the inside seeds. Then, take a large knife and try to peel the outside of the cantaloupe as best you can. This cantaloupe is actually going to be the baby's face in the bassinet. So, to make it the smoothest as possible, I took a cheese grater to make a nice smooth surface. The next cantaloupe we're going to use is just to make melon balls. Like I said, if you don't have a melon baller, you can just use measuring cups. This one is a half a tablespoon, and so you just dig nice and deep and twist. Put that aside in a bowl. With our nicely washed grapes, we are going to cut the grape in half, and we're going to use these as the eyes. Grab some toothpicks and place them in the center of the grapes and position them on the cantaloupe. The next part is the nose. I'm gonna take a watermelon fruit ball, cut it in half and place it on the cantaloupe and hold it in place with a toothpick. Next, you're gonna open the pack of pacifiers. This is gonna go in the baby's mouth. Now it's a little difficult to try and measure out how far to cut into the melon. Just make small cuts and make adjustments as you go along. This is a process that you just have to trust, um, take some time carving out the perfect size for the pacifier to fit in the mouth. After you finish with the baby's face, we're going to go back to the carriage and stuff the watermelon balls in the back of the carriage. Continue to do that and fill it up all the way in the back and then place the baby's face inside of the carriage. Continue to fill up the carriage with watermelons, cantaloupes, grapes, blueberries, and whatever fruit you decide to be in the bowl. Lastly, we're going to make the wheels on the carriage. Just take an orange, slice it in half, and then slice two equal pieces to make the wheels. Next, grab a grape and a toothpick and stab it through the center and find the right placement on your fruit bowl. Of course, it's super good for the soul to have some support there and take a look at what you're doing. So I did find it difficult to poke just the toothpick through the watermelon. So I'm using a fork to make a couple different holes so I can decide if I wanna place my wheel higher or lower. Next, we're gonna take the piece of the watermelon that we cut out and we are gonna cut that watermelon in half. This is gonna be the handle on the baby carriage. 
cut out a square with the smaller end at the bottom. Cut off any excess. Now this handle is going to be a little heavy, so we do need to trim the inside of it to make it as thin as possible and easier to stick to the carriage. Cut off all of the red watermelon parts. Now you are all finished with your fruit baby bassinet. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you guys next Monday. Keep working on, worker bees. And just as a reminder, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.